Assalam alaikum. So today I'm going to do my best to teach you about um, good character. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he had the best of character. And nothing on the scales on the day of judgment will be heavier than good character. This is one of Allah's favors for mankind that he has sent us Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, I have been sent to perfect good character. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala testifies that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has good character. And indeed, you are of a great moral character. Anas radiallahu anha said, I saw that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would instruct people to adopt the best of character. So inshallah, I'll try helping you guys like improve your character. None of us are perfect, we all have our flaws and weaknesses But we all should do our best to improve ourselves Because like doing nothing is like boring And remember Allah chose you to be a Muslim Allah sees in us something that we don't see in ourselves What makes any of us think that we're not qualified to struggle for Allah? Allah loves you more than you can love your own self We are so blessed to be Muslim and nowadays, science is even proving that sunnahs are actually like Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sunnahs are actually good, for, good for us. I'll give you an example. So you know how um, there's a sunnah of eating with your family. Science has proven that eating with your family can reduce anxiety and depression. There's lots of sunnahs that I'll talk about inshallah, but not today. So that's going to be for another video. Okay, now that we're done with the introduction, let's go to the first topic. Goodness of parents Did you know that it's a major sin in Islam to disobey your parents? You should always try helping them whenever you can But if they go against Islam or saying like something wrong You must teach them but with respect You know how in Pakistani dramas some but not all But like the mother-in-law basically she like hates the wife for many reasons you know the son's like oh, i respect my mother i can do anything for you no i can't but little does the son know he can actually help his wife he can respectfully address the issue to his mother and get everything sorted anyways let's get back to the main topic allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and your lord has decreed that you worship but him and that you be dutiful to your parents. You may be thinking, why do we have to be dutiful to our parents? Well, our parents are the ones who are basically like with us for all of our lives. They look after us. They've been with you since you were born. Your parents, they look after you, they take care of you. So we should at least um, make an effort to make them happy. In Islam, Jannah, heaven, it lies beneath your mother's feet. You're not even allowed to show that you're irritated or angry with them. Guys, I know it's hard to control your anger, but do your best to please. Try your best. And right now, you guys are probably thinking, um, it's really hard to control my anger. It's impossible. I can't do it. Yes, you can. It's not impossible. Remember that anger comes from shaitan. Anger is also a form of ego and arrogance. So humble yourself. Allah loves best the kindness to parents. Abdullah ibn Umar said, The pleasure of the Lord lies in the pleasure of the parents. The anger of the Lord lies in the anger of the parents. Abu Huraira radiallahu anha reported, A man came to the Prophet of Allah, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. And he asked, What do you command me to do? He replied, Be dutiful to your mother. And then he asked him the same question again, and he replied, Be dutiful to your mother. Um, he repeated it again and the Prophet replied, Be dutiful towards your mother. Then he put the question a fourth time. Then the Prophet said, Be dutiful for, um, towards your father. Sa'id ibn Abi Burda said, I heard my father say that Ibn Umar saw a Yemeni man going around the house while carrying his mother on his back, saying, I am your humble camel. camel. If her mouth is frightened, I am not frightened. Then he asked Ibn Umar, Do you think that I have repaid her? He replied, No, not even for a single groan. Abu Huraira radiallahu anha reported that the Prophet Muhammad 
was um, saying disgrace, disgrace, disgrace. They said, Messenger of Allah, who? He said, the one who fails his parents or one of them when they are old will enter the fire. Ibn Abbas mentions the words of the Almighty when one or both of them reach old age with you, do not say oof to them out of irritation and do not be harsh with them, but speak to them with gentleness and generosity. Take them under your wing out of mercy with due humility and say, Lord, show them mercy as they did in looking after me when I was small. When watching this, be dutiful to your parents, serve them, treat them with kindness and love, and never make them upset. And if you're a parent watching this, make dua for your children and teach them with love and patience.